Um, yes, if you fire a piece while it's still wet, then it will pop in the kiln. It will just disintegrate. Um, normally you load the kiln while it's wet and then just let it dry in the kiln. And if you're in a hurry, you would hold the kiln at like 100 degrees and then slowly ramp it up. to dry the pieces out, but you don't want to start applying firing temperatures to damp pieces. My, my sculpture over here was partially damp. You can see I lost an arm and various other pieces. I didn't think that the piece was still damp. I thought that I gave it plenty of time. <sighs> Her name is Patience. Am I only making shot glasses or other pots today? I'm trying to get through this pile of clay that was sitting in the bag. Um, So I wouldn't really say they're shot glasses necessarily. I use these little type of cups for coffee, tea, ice cream. Could be for whiskey. She will remain as she is. Um, she's not gonna get glazed. Uh, I'm not going to try and glue her back together or anything. Most of the pieces just like blasted into dust. Uh, so she can actually sit up uh, on her knees and she looks over my kiln firing area as a reminder. <laughs> Coffee shots? Sir Contilius, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Pride. Yeah, I wish you'd gotten to keep her arm and foot and uh, left breast, but... <laughs> Our kiln's expensive to run. Um, relatively expensive. I mean, compared to, like, the cost of the clay. Uh, yeah, that's a fair amount of the expense of firing. But, like, relative to... It, it depends on what you're thinking. Like, I have a little kiln that's pretty nice and uh, insulates well and is kind of my, my economical test firing kiln. And I think it's like six dollars to fire all the way up to cone 10. Not not a big investment, but it's it's a little box.
second 